Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the pre-construction uh, public meeting for the Main Street Outfall Project. My name is uh, Max Aronson. I am the project manager um, for the Stormwater Group uh, for this Main Street Outfall Project. Um, the contractor for this project will be Circle C Construction. Um, to begin, uh, please hold all questions till the end of the meeting. If you don't mind, uh, please have your mic muted throughout. Um, if you have any questions, please hold those to the end. At that time, we will let you guys unmute your mic or feel free to type them into the chat box. So to give you a quick overview of the project, um, the project location is right between downtown and the stockyards. It is going to be a stormwater relocation project that outfalls a new pipe directly into the Trinity River along the West Fork. Um, this is going to be right off of uh, Main Street and 8th Avenue. Um, so it's pretty much right between Northside Drive and downtown. To give you a little bit of an overview of the project scope and what is in what this project's ultimate goal is, it is actually in conjunction with a series of other stormwater and sewer and water line relocations projects for the overall uh, Fort Worth Central City project. Um, this project is relocating a number of these utilities in conjunction and in preparation for the core's uh, future bypass channel. Um, if you look at our screen right here, we've got a number of projects on here. All of these are going to be stormwater relocation projects that are shown. Our project is shown here in orange. Um, we've got a number of other projects shown in red are, that are currently going to be starting construction this year or plan to start construction within the next few months. We've also got one project that has been completed shown in green. Um, there are two bypass channel portions within the core um, that the core scope is doing uh, the north bypass channel, which this project is directly tied to. And then there's also the south bypass channel project that we have three other projects associated with. Uh, so the overall goal of the Fort Worth Central City program, it's really a partnership between uh, the United States Army Corps of Engineers and the Trinity Regional Water District. Um, the reasons for the for our program in particular is to relocate all of the existing utilities that are going to be in the way of the future channels. Um, with these projects, there is a reimbursement plan for our uh, construction and design expenses that the city is uh, paying for these projects right now. Um, we are currently in uh, talking with TRWD and USACE um, for getting those reimbursement plans set up. Um, so again, these projects will be reimbursed at a future date. So for this project scope in total, uh, the we will be constructing a new storm drain outfall directly into the Trinity River, which you can see in the image on the top right. Um, we will be connecting the storm drain into the existing system that's already within the area. Um, we will also be relocating an 18 inch sewer main that's uh, partially in the way of our proposed storm drain outfall structure. Um, the anticipated start of this project for construction is going to be next month, August of 23, and we project it to be completed by October of next year. Um, the construction cost for the storm drain relocation is about $9.3 million. With that, um, again, my name is Max Sanson. I'm the project manager for this project. Um, my contact information is there, and we've also got the uh, contractor on the line, and his contact information is shown on the screen as well. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to unmute yourselves now, or please feel free to uh, type your questions into the chat box, and we will get them answered. Max, this is Linda, and I would like for us to welcome council member flores to our meeting thank you for coming council member flores and joining us sure no thank you for that linda and thank you max for the uh, presentation absolutely thank you uh i do have one question i guess i, I if, if i can uh, pose one um yes, just to be sure there uh i didn't see any any anticipated uh disruptions of traffic flow at all in any of this work that is uh, planned? So within the scope of this project, uh, so let me jump back to that slide. Um, we will have temporary impacts to 8th Street right here. Um, it's just a short little stretch. 
There's only one business that uh, connect, uh, connects directly to it, uh, but during construction, the contractor will be coordinating for that business access. Um, this is not a major street. There's no heavy traffic anywhere in this area, so we don't anticipate uh, really any major impacts to the traveling public. Okay, good. So any notifications as they impact the local businesses will be done by the contractor? Correct. Okay, good enough. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hello, Max. Yes, sir. This is Pat Walsh. I'm with Texas Refinery, and I guess we're the only business that will be impacted by this project. And I just wanted some clarification, if you've got a minute. Absolutely. Uh, when do you think the actual construction will take place on the section along 8th Street? Um, so, at this time, uh, that's, we anticipate that being towards the end of the project. However, I have not... Uh, nailed down a complete schedule with the contractor yet. Um, however, if you could, uh, would you be able to send me, a, if you have my contact information, I'll jump back to the other slide. If you don't mind giving me, shooting me an email, and I'll be sure that we have your contact information and we'll give you uh, advance notice. And whenever we do get an actual construction schedule, we'll go ahead and uh, shoot that over to you. So you are um, aware of any sort of impacts. I'm jotting down your uh, email right now. If you'll leave it up for a second. Yeah, I will. Okay. Um, the only impact this will have on us on 8th Street is that we've got a uh, dumpster along the side of the building there. We'd have to relocate. Um, we don't use access to that building. We have a dock door on the side of that building on 8th Street faces 8th, but uh, we don't use it. Um, how long do you think a period of time it'll be that the uh, eighth is shut down as, uh, as a part of the whole project? At this time, I don't have a definitive schedule. Keegan, do you happen to know an estimate of how long you think you would need eighth street shut down or where majority of the road would need to be shut down? Um, I'll have to see what kind of traffic permit I'm going to be able to get from streets, but lately they've been really trying to push us to, um, do a daytime closure and try and figure out a way to get it open at night. And we've been very successful lately. So I anticipate trying to do that kind of traffic plan. If, uh, if we have to close it for a long time, we'll just help you move that dumpster somewhere else with our equipment so that you can still have access to it and it can be emptied and it'll be not impactful. All right, not a problem. I think the sheriff's office has got the uh, property right across the street on 8th from us. And I know that they utilize that access gate on 8th primarily. Your diagram showed that they have a drive going out to uh, Commerce. I don't know if they use that, but I assume they're not impacted at all. Again, we, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and coordinate with them to just make sure that um, any sort of temporary measures that need to be had, uh, we, will, we will consider and uh, implement for them. Okay. Um, and just out of curiosity, the storm drain, does it go down the center of 8th or is it on one side or the other? Uh, so the sewer line is going to be on the bottom half. It's going to be more so the south side. And then the storm line is mostly on the north side of the roadway. Are there any utilities that cross through there? Um, the only utilities that are in the area um, is just going to be the storm and the sewer line that are that will be that we will be replacing with this project. Okay. And I guess there's uh, going to be a a storm drain that will be by your diagram. Will it will catch rainwater then at the center of commerce, or do you have any specifics on where that drain will be? Yeah. So uh, there's existing inlets that are at this intersection right here. And we're just basically we're we're capturing it and directing it in a different direction that it, than it was originally that it, that what it's doing today. So we're not necessarily um, adding any extra inlets, or um, we're basically just taking the water and discharging it to the Trinity River much sooner than it is today. Where does it go now? Uh, currently, it shoots down. Uh, I believe some of these inlets shoot down Commerce. And then they go down to this other outfall that is here today. It's kind of hard to see in this picture. Um, so we're basically kind of splitting the flow from this outfall into this outfall because right here is where that future uh, bypass channel is going to be right, right around in this area. 
No problem. It shouldn't have any problem for us, but uh, I'll send you an email with my contact information. If you can just let me know when uh, you do plan to hit 8th street. Yes, sir. Impact us. I can get the word out to our employees. Yes, sir. And I'll share uh, Keegan's contact information as well. So, um. If any, anything happens, um, you guys will be able to contact him during construction and we'll give you definitely far notice in advance of whenever uh, construction does commence. Very good. All right. That's all I've got. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you for joining us. Are there any other questions from the group? Great, Miguel. Did you see any com or comments or questions in the chat? Uh, no, there are no uh, questions on the chat. Perfect. Okay, well, I'll stick around for another minute or so. If you guys want to, if you guys come up with anything else, um, feel free to ask. Thanks for your time, Max. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks for thanks for joining us, Councilman. Thank you. All. Of course. Thanks to everybody. Appreciate the participation. Have a good night. You too. Okay, if there are no further questions, we'll go ahead and end this meeting. Um, we, this is being recorded and we will get this uploaded uh, to the city website, um, hopefully tomorrow, if not early next week. All right, well, thanks everybody. Have a good night. Thanks, bye.